Ugh. Take some out. Uh, and drink there? Alright, so Thimbleweed Park is a point-and-click adventure game created by whom I consider one of the two gods of old-school point-and-click games. Two gods being Ron Gilbert and Tim Schafer. Um, so this one was created by Ron Gilbert uh, and team. Uh, who, who the rest of the team are, I, I don't know. So my apologies to them. Um, but yeah, so Ron Gilbert, so I'm thoroughly excited for this. We're just going to crack right on with it. Um, so in a sense, I'd say this will be a kind of replacement for the Blues and Bullets series, which I've had to cancel. Um, I do also have another game lined up. Um, to also semi-replace that. So, two games to replace one. Anyway, cracking on. Uh, casual mode, if you're new to adventure games, or you're looking for a quicker experience because life is, uh, life is exciting, there is too much to do, free tutorial included. Hard mode, if you're an experienced adventure gamer and you want all the puzzles because there is nothing more exciting in life than playing adventure... Well, yeah. Oh, I didn't read that last bit. I think it was something along the lines of, we can't change it. Um, text above the cursor indicates an interactive object. Okay. Interact with characters and objects here. That makes sense. And then we have the, have, oh, sorry, I can't, can't talk. We have our commands down here. Just again, classic and our inventory and items which we will use. Simple commands start with a verb and end with an object or character. So we pick up the key card. Complex commands start with a verb, then an object, and end with another object or character. Use key card on the door, so on and so forth. You know, your, your general classic old school style point and click adventure games, the ones that I love. Uh, to review or see advanced interaction tips, select options, then help. Let's go! So yeah, this game only came out a few hours ago today. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. I do hope the uh, the game audio is fine and my voice and all, you know, all, the, all the different volumes and sounds and things. I hope it's all okay. So, we've got a note, we've got a wallet. Uh, key card for the hotel room 806, and look at a prototype pillow bear trademark. So the notes, Boris. I'm glad you decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps wisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in the, your hotel room. Go to the river down by the trestle trestle trail bridge. Turn off the light above the trestle trail sign. So. I know you have arrived. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure you are not followed. It is my wallet, and it has 252 American dollars in it. 
Okay. It is the key card for my room. Okay. It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out and you get a pillow. Very top secret. Uh, I had better not turn it inside out now. Okay, let's talk to Willy. I was to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? I have to go... Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? Yeah. Uh, I need some whiskey. I think that's a yes. Sober up, sir. I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. Nope. Okay. I have to go. Sleep well. Okay. Move on through. Okay, so we need to turn uh, uh use. I do not see a way to turn it off. Mm. All right, let's pick up the rock. We smash the light. Jump to get in. All right, so this is where we go. Use rock on the light. There, I have completed step three of the note. And now it's meet me at the large entrance to the underground shorts. Take a look at the uh, sign. Trestle uh, Trail to Thimbleweed Park. 1.7 miles. Awesome. <laughs> I'm assuming this is the way to go. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that? None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night. Or how much it would change us all. Part 2. The Body. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. I do apologize. I am eating some biscuits at the same time. So who are we? Alright. Where? I think it was Agent Race. Although it looks like we can spot. Okay, cool. Detective Antonio Reyes, Junior Agent. It's definitely my badge. Interesting. From Albuquerque by bus, heading up to the body. This is the perfect cover. Oh my. Something's fishy. We're walking on the highway, it's on the way from town. Now we've got the body. Agent Ray's here, which is odd. No one should be inside to the case. I may have heard and heard from rumors around the office. Might pose some problems for me. Remember to call Mark tonight. It's an instant camera. But there's no film in it. Typical. Okay. 
Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's. Oh shit. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. Okay. Going to town late this afternoon. What's dump? I'll try to have a contact with the locals until I see the body and figure out if it will suit my needs. Long highway. I hope I don't have to walk that again. Arrive at the body. I should do just fine as my cover. I hear rustling in the bushes. Someone's coming. Oh, great. So, um, the agent just showed up. I wasn't aware the Bureau had been alerted. I need to ditch him. Oh, so both seems like they're, I don't know, potentially not who they say it's they are. It's a cell phone. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. Okay. It only contains one photo. Wait, is it that the, f it's, wait? What? They already have a photo, or sorry, get. Sorry, I just had to cough up some biscuit. Anyway, right. So give the Polaroid film to Reyes. Happy to help. I will switch back. It's annoying because I do that, and the mouse will lock up because my mouse goes off the other screen. Which, by the way, brand new screen. Loving it. I just need to figure out. Not figure out, but alter the the colouring settings on it because it's not quite. I don't know. It's nice, but because it's significantly different from the screen on my laptop, it's going back and forth between the two. I notice a lot of difference between it. But I think if I was using it as its screen by itself on its own, then it would be perfectly fine. Smile! Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. I'm not done looking around. Dead ringer for the body. Oh! It's an empty whiskey bottle. Trussell Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. Uh, we didn't actually look at the corpse. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. <laughs> Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. And then we can go to the hotel room and find out his ID, because he left it there. Or at least he should have done. It's a hotel keycard from the dead man. Uh, his wallet did contain some stupid like 200 and, was it 252 US dollars? Why is this flashing? Um, okay, that's fine. It appears to be a male, probably 40 years old. I've been waiting for 24 hours. Nothing important. It's a hotel keycard. There appears to be a small hole in the back of his head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot, it's more like a puncture from a sharp object. His suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. So yeah, double click and we uh... The trail ends here, at this huge rock wall. That old tree is blocking the great entrance. What was that? Violing music <laughs> coming from the sewer? Talk about non-diegetic sound. I think it's non-diegetic. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, let's... I need back. to stay focused and solve this murder so I can get on with my plan. Plan, you say? Um, is this the exact same note? It is the exact same note. Okay, that's fine. Does she have anything additional to say? There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Not really. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't oh, look yeah, like a gunshot. More like a puncture from a sharp object. 
which is odd because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. <laughs> oh, I love little fourth wall breaks like that. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. Can we look at the lamp? The bulbs there? broken. There's no signs of the what's it being. Called? I have to open the gate first. Really? Oh, come on then. Yeah, we're just. Hope that the other guy comes up with no, I guess he doesn't know. Okay. Bring him over. I don't know if there's benefit in keeping them together or It's a trail down to the railroad trestle. Um but We'll uh, figure it out. Look at it. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Uh, walk to Moor Highway? Or somewhere, presumably eventually a dead end? Or some weird van? Circus flyer. Take a look at it's it. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup though. <laughs> what? Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Jim Brothers Plumbing. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Uh, interesting. Oh, uh, agent. That's pretty mm. odd. <laughs> Should I save my game? I think I've heard enough of you. I need to share it. So, this is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Awesome. <laughs> but playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts-style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That is, I'd say, to a certain extent, true. I know that in the original Monkey Island, there is only one place where you can actually die in the game and even then you literally have to stand yeah you're, you're stuck in one area and if you don't get out within 10 minutes you'll die that seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design it is it just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning but it really pays off in the end uh, you almost ran over a federal agent that's a felony sorry about that like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! I was literally just about to say, well then wouldn't it be sister I think brothers? I've had uh, enough no, of you. Shit. I, I need to find one. the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice announcement. talking to you too. Thank no you. time to talk. Uh, we need to figure out the signals! Uh, damn it, my mouse slipped.
You seemed really determined. I'm sure you'll figure it out. B, no time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Two minds like yours should be able to figure it out. Boop. Was. No time to talk. We need to figure out the <gasps> signals. That reminds me, quick pen and paper. Uh, There's another series of games which I wanted to play. And it's just reminded me of the games, but I can't specifically remember the names. Uh, something about a hotel. Uh, Uh, it should be that if I remember. I look. Bear with me. Just a quick Google search. Okay. Yes. Right. That's fine. Curiosity. Oh, not curiosity. Memory resolved. Right there. Okay. Another series of games which I really plan on doing at a much later date, and I just needed to write that down, or else I will forget to get. Are you going to do this all night? Click. Click. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals! Nuts. I could really go for some salted nuts right about now. Click. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals! There are signals. Okay. I've got a murder to solve anyway. Okay. Beep! Still a little bit gutted that I missed Boop. out on that option. Was. It's a plumbing van driven by big pigeons. No need. The perps are outside. Was Squeak! Beep! Oh shit, we can just hold the button. Okay. Alright, uh, now it's a plastic room to look at. From a six-pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. So, Thimbleweed Cemetery. What's further down the road? It's an empty soda bottle. Uh, to town. Do we want to go to town yet? Or should I have gone to the cemetery? Hmm, too many choices. Wait for me! Well, I'm presuming, um... I'm presuming that we can sort of go back and forth between places kind of freely throughout the game. There's nothing up ahead but road. The town's in the other direction. Okay. I need to see Okay, that's good. We'll go into the cemetery and then we'll go into town. Alright, what do we got? Okay, that just goes back to the highway. Anything interesting to click on? No. Nothing around here. What about over yonder? Anything? No? Oh, it looks like we're coming up to the main bit. No? Okay, keep going. This is so far nothing. Although... The tomb... The Chuck tomb... Is this Le Chuck's tomb? It's Chuck's final resting place, apparently. I think it might be. 
looks like it's closed. Uh, I don't see a way to open it, but I see a switch inside. Um, I don't know if we can. Yeah, so we do just have two door. Okay. I can't put it in there. Oh, okay. Flowers. flowers left over from a funeral. Looks like that's got all the way back through as well. probably also be writing down notes from the game as well. That's what I always did when I play other point-and-click adventure games is because of how, depending of course who actually makes them and everything, um, they can be very obscure and everything like that and writing things down does really help. Um, so I'm yeah, tempted to start a little note uh, a note paper note piece of paper for this game but I uh, will leave it for now we don't need it to write anything down yet so more like symbol stupid oh, 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 oh. oh so funny it really was funny. it says Main Street okay. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Is it prestige realities? I don't know. Why, hello there. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> I'm straight. Cut the Merry Berry crap we're taking over this case. How long are you going to let that body rot in the river? Literally, this is uh, my partner. No pisses, says goodbye. Damn, Damn straight. straight. We're the Feds. Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's! No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? Bum, 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 bum. The plot thickens. The inscription says, Pillowtronics, the brain of our city. A good place to get a drink. <sighs> anyway. Anything? Nope, okay. Howdy-ho! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. 
Welcome to the future, who? Bloodtron, Fingertron. Oh, these are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray? It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Hi. I'm eating again. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in, and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match of who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Interesting. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Uh, that could be a good point. Same person. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as Pisa Who's in a pot of who. Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Arino he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who. Sure. Whatever. Okay. Use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pilotronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pilotronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. Oh my god, it is. I hate this any town. The who. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Yes, let's. Okay, raise to do this. Let's see. Okay. We've read that one. Okay, the coroner and the sheriff are idiots. That's okay. I can work with idiots. They're easy to manipulate. The Tron machines are interesting. I'm glad Reyes was a little eager beaver and took notes. I wonder if they are connected to the reason I'm here. Reyes to do this. Find the murder weapon. Fingerprint the murder weapon. Get the Fingertron... Uh, yeah, get Fingertron report. Find ID for the victim in hotel. Question mark. Get Facetron report. Take a blood swab from the body. Find suspicious item with blood on it. Get a Bloodtron report. Put three reports in arrest tron. Seems simple enough. Great. Let's switch. To I need to stay. F Look at this. 
blah, okay, so read that. Okay, the coroner seems nice enough, he should be able to help. He should be helpful in solving the quiz in solving this case as quickly as possible. Being the power of the drum machines is impressive. I wonder why we've never heard of them before, and if they could have been figuring out what happened during the old pillow factory fire. Bloodtron, insert blah 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 blah, facetron, fingertron, create a to-do list is at a glance the same as what's it to do list. Okay, so we don't actually have anything to put in them, so we'll ignore them for now. Vacuum tube? No, look at that. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. Okay, anyway, look at the bookshelf. Lots of medical books there. I can't push that. I can't pull that. Okay. The final click adventure game, you've got to at least try everything. I can't open that. Yes, we got... I don't want to pick that up. Oh, okay, right, that's fine. Moving on. Look at everything. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Sean by Sheriff Crook. Chewy Caramel Center. Ugh. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. Mm, look at it. It's closed. It's empty. It's empty. 